my channel coding power most of the kids like playing games so in this video we'll be learning how to create a game using scratch so without wasting any further time subscribe to my channel click the bell icon and let's get started subscribe to my channel and keep the bell icon to all okay so the first step to do is to open scratch type scratch Okay, you can see that this is a scratch desktop app. Click on it to open it. I'll maximize the screen. So this is my scratch desktop. Those who do not know how to download scratch, you can see my previous video. The link is in the description below. Okay, we are making a maze game. So the characters needed are First character is the cat. When we open Scratch Desktop, we can see a cat as a sprite one. I will change the name to cat. Okay, we are making a maze game. So the second character needed is a maze. If we go to Sprite Library, we cannot see a maze here as there is no maze image in the Sprite Library. So how do we bring the maze into this project? First, we have to go to Google. And then type invent with scratch. Invent with scratch. So the first link you can see is this. So click on the invent with scratch link. You can see this website open. So if you go below, you can see this download. So in this, click the link in the second line downloads page. In this, you can see several maze images. So you can select any one. To select a image, right click on the image and save image as. You can go to the folder you want to save. Now I am going to desktop folder. In this, I will save it as maze one PNG. It is in a PNG for. It is in a PNG form. Scratch desktop accept PNG form. So maze one dot png save it, and now our maze image is getting downloaded. Now it is downloaded, so you can close this Google, and then you come to the Scratch desktop. Here, go to Sprites, and then upload Sprite. So it will open your desktop. Now you go to the folder you have downloaded the image. I have downloaded in my desktop so you can see here is the maze1.png so click on that and open you can see that our maze image has been successfully in the project so now let us make this fit inside this screen to do that we need to decrease the size of the maze so it is 100 i will make it 90 so you can see it is perfectly fitting the screen now I want the cat to become smaller because the lines is very small. So to do that double click on the cat and then change the size to 50. Ok 50 is still big. The starting point of this maze is here and the ending point is here. Or you can also make it as the starting point is here and the ending point is here. So this cat is still big for the maze. So double click on the cat, change the size to 30. Okay, the cat is still big. So I will change it to 20. Okay, the cat is perfect in size. Okay, so now the next thing to do is we need the cat to move. When we press the any arrow keys, the up arrow or down arrow, left or right arrow, I want the cat to move according to the arrow keys. So to do that, we need to go to the code. We need to write some code for the cat. So double click on the cat. Now, to how do we write the code? Here you can select any blocks. So, first thing we need to do is go to events because we, if we want to make a project, we need to go to events first. If you do not know what are the basic blocks and what is the basic of Scratch, you can see my previous video. The link is also in the description below. So now, select any one of these two. 
either when space key is pressed or when the flag key is pressed so i will take when space key is pressed you can select any key like space up arrow down arrow but i'll be selecting space key for now so what this means is that when i click the space the cat or the game should begin so when space key is pressed this game should run forever until we lose so select forever loop in the control panel so you can select by dragging it i have dragged it already i'll show it to you again go to the control panel forever drag it and place it below the when space key is pressed so this means that when we press the space key forever loop should start but what should happen in between the forever loop the thing is i want the cat to move when i press the right arrow or any arrow keys to do that go to sensing and then you need this key pressed but where should i place this key pressed so we need to go to control again and then if then option we need to bring it and place it between or inside the forever loop if we place it somewhere else like here this won't take any action so we need to place it in between or inside the forever loop so now again go to sensing bring this key space pressed up so bring it in this shape if this key space pressed then instead of space we will take a up arrow first up when if key up arrow is pressed then what should happen if we press the up arrow the cat should move 10 steps upside or 4 steps upside so do so to do that we need to go to motion and then if we go below in that we can see change x by and then change y by and change x by so what is x x is the horizontal axis y is the vertical axis so when we press the up arrow i need the vertical axis to change up so go to change y by bring it between the forever loop in this instead of 10 i will keep it as 4 so that the cat can take smaller steps not to touch the outer border so the next thing is we have made for the up arrow so now we should do the same for the down arrow as well so go to if for loop right click on it and duplicate it bring it somewhere down now drag it and place it in between the forever loop and after the first if loop so here instead of up arrow go to down arrow up arrow is positive 4 down arrow is negative 4 so minus 4 okay so now we have to do for the right and left arrow key as well so again duplicate it bring it below and then place it in between the forever loop after the first two if loop now change it as right arrow here right arrow we cannot make as y axis because y axis is vertical and right arrow is horizontal so bring it here back take the change x by and then bring it in between the if loop and we need to make it positive for because x at in the x axis if you want right side it is positive and left side is negative so positive 4 by x and then again duplicate this bring it below okay and then bring it in between the forever loop and after the first three if loop now change it to left arrow when the left arrow it is minus 4 okay for your better visualization i will make it a big bigger okay so now i hope you can understand what is this code okay so now we have written the basic code let us see how this code works so go to full screen control and then press space key now 
you can see that this game has started because the green flag is in the blue color box so now press any arrow key and then you can see the cat is moving okay our sprite or the our cat is moving but the cat is touching the boundary and the line and still continues to move but the cat when it touches the line or the boundary it has to stop and come back to its starting position or the original position so to do that we need to write few more line codes up to do that go to control take can if then block place it in between the forever loop and after the first four if loops up in this if loop go to sensing in this first block touching mouse pointer drag it and place it here if touching mouse pointer then what should it do but here i have to do a bit of change instead of touching mouse pointer touching the maze one because this name is the maze one so if this cat is touching maze one then it has to go back to this starting position the starting position is 24x and minus 164 in the y axis so go to motion if i change this cat like if i place it up you can see that go to x and y is changing if i place it down to the starting position you can see again it has changed so bring this place it in between the if then loop so now our code is done let us try how this works so make it full screen and then press the space key and then now let us try to move this cat when i press any arrow key it is not moving because it is touching the border and it is not able to move because i have written the code that if it touching the maze one then it has to go back to the original position so i will stop this game and then i will decrease the size of the cat so to do that double click the cat and then the size is 20 instead of 20 i will make it 15 so the cat is small now so again go back to the full screen control press space key and then you can start moving your cursor see if i press this up arrow key it is moving upside and then when it touches the border like i'm going to touch the up border so it is stopping it is going back to the original position so that this game is a success congratulations we have completed this simple maze game so for more beautification and easy to play see you all in the next part of this video till then bye thanks for watching